my dear students assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss about the reproduction in plasmodio foromycota so three types of reproductions are present in this division of fungi three types of reproduction reproduction so which type of re reproductions are present the first type of reproduction in the plasmodio forum mycota is known as vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction second type of reproduction in the plasmodio forum mycota is asexual reproduction and the third and last type of reproduction is sexual reproduction sexual reproductions so in the first we will try to discuss about the vegetative reproduction so when we talk about the vegetative reproduction so firstly we will try to discuss about which are the method through which vegetative reproduction so there are two methods through which vegetative reproduction occur the first method is known as crankids head formation crankids head formation and the second method is known as fragmentation fragmentation so in the vegetative reproduction firstly we will try to discuss about the crankids head formation how the crankids head formation is involved in the vegetative reproduction of plasmodiophora so actually we know that the fungi belong to plasmodiophora mycota or obligate parasite actually the obligate parasites are those parasites which need a living host for their reproduction so such type of parasites are known as obligate parasite so all the member of this divisions are obligate parasites and they are living in the host cell so actually first we will try to discuss about the uh, crankids head formation in the crankids head formation crankids hairs formation it is our first method of vegetative reproduction in this process infected host cell divide the infected host cell actually this one is a infected host cell this is a cell this is a nucleus of the cell and this is a fungus which is present inside this cell so due to presence of fungus we can say that it is a infected infected cell of host this cell become large this cell become large when this cell become large they, this is look like this this one is a cell and the size of this cell is larger than this cell and this is a fungus present in this cell now this cell start dividing when this cell will start divide they this cell produce a new cells as we know that nucleus is divided but with the division of this cell fungi present in this cell also divide so this is a fungi and fungi also divide with the division of this host cell so again this cell divide like this this is a nucleus of the cell and this is a fungus this is a cell this is a nucleus of the cell and this is a fungus this cell also again further divide this cell divide this is a nucleus of the cell and this is a fungus 
it mean with the division of the host cell fungal cell also divide so many many more infected cells are produced because the division of infected host cell so each divided cell each daughter cell has a fungi it mean more cells are produced with fungal cells and when the large group of cell is produced this group of cell is known as granted cells so this cell this group of cell is known as granted cells so this granted cells cells are uh, group in, in the form of group and they can infect some more other cells so these are produce with the help of granted cells formation so the second method of vegetative reproduction is fragmentation so in the process of fragmentation so second method is now fragmentation fragmentation is a very common word in this process a fungal body is divided or a broken down into many many more pieces or fragments and each fragment produce a new fungal body so we can write here fungal body fungal body broken down into many fragments and each fragment and each fragment grow and produce a new fungal body grow and make a new fungal body new fungal body so how this process occur we will try to discuss with the help of a diagram for example this one is a body of a fungi and this fungi divide into many many more pieces when this divide into many many more pieces this one is a one fragment this is a second fragment this is a third and this one is a fourth fragment so many many more fragments may produce in the uh, fungal body and each separated portion grow and produce a many many more fragments and these are the fragments of the fungi and these grow these fragments can grow and produce a new fungal body so this process is known as fragmentation and we are discussing it in the vegetative reproduction so after the vegetative reproduction we will try to discuss the asexual reproduction a sexual reproduction as we know that the fungi are obligate parasite obligate parasite mean the parasite which need the living host for their reproduction and survival such type of parasites are known as obligate parasite and because these are obligate parasites they are living in the plant tissues for example this one is a root of plant this one is a root of plant and this is the cell of plasmodiophora which is present in the root of plant so what will happen this cell divide mitotically actually this cell is a haploid originally this cell is a haploid cell and to maintain the chromosome number this cell divide mitotically mitotically it mean mitosis occur and produce many many more cells so when this cell is now this cell is dividing inside a root so these are this cell is now dividing the nucleus and inside the cells many many more new 
nuclei are present so these this cell actually break down or divide into many pieces so now this cell is divided into one piece now the cell each nucleus will act as a separate cell after the division now each nucleus in this cell this plasmodial cell is separated so actually this one is a plasmodial cell and the inside the plasmodial cells meiotic division produce many many more nuclei and now each nuclei is separated when this cell will burst plasmodial cell will burst then these nuclei come out from this cell these are the nuclei and these nuclei secrete a thick wall around it so these are the nuclei and this one is a wall thick wall which is secreted by this cell so this is a thick wall around the each nuclei and now these are known as spores now these are known as spores not still these are known as zoospores these are only spores so what will happen after the formation of these spores when the conditions are favorable it mean when unfavorable condition pass then these spores will grow and germinate to produce when the conditions are favorable then these spores will germinate so how they can germinate they become a pear shaped and release of flagella actually these are the spores thick wall as the unfavorable condition pass passes these cells these spores germinate and change the shape into these spores and these spores are now known these are flagellated spores these are flagellated spores but these are pear shaped these are pear shaped so this is a these are known as zoo spores so now these zoo spores are formed and these zoo spores are involved in the asexual reproduction how these are involved in the asexual reproduction these zoospore will infect a new plant for example this one is a root of plant roots and we know that root also contain the root hairs so these are root hair and always the cells of the root hairs are thin walled this is actually a root of plant and this these are the cells of cells of root hairs and these zoospore will come in contact with these cells of uh, root hairs and penetrate enter into this plant now they regress their flagella lose their flagella and become amoeboid also known as mizo amoeba mix amoeba and when they lose their flagella are known as mix amoeba and inside the plant they will again start their division of nuclei and now also become a multi nucleated and again this process will continue to produce the zoospore and this process is continuously producing the spores as well as converting into zoospore so this is all about the asexual reproduction in the uh, plasmodium foro mycota it means the plasmodium